One hour and counting dozens of people in Aurora will be homeless once their hotel stay runs out at noon for weeks now. We've been following their story after their rental complex manager forced them out with barely any notice. CBS 2's Adrena Bigas went to Aurora to check in with the families this morning. Adrena. The family's free two week stay here at the hotel ends in just one hour and some families tell me that leaves them only two options move to a homeless shelter where their families will be split up or sleep in their car tonight. It's move out day again. Today is our last day here and a lot of people don't have nowhere to go. I have $80. If they put me out of here, I'm out in the street. The roadway in has been home for a little while. Their property manager agreed to pay for two weeks and that time is up per this notice. Please seek new living arrangements as soon as possible. So what do we do? Their apartments, not an option. They were living in this YMCA turned apartment building on Garfield Avenue. It's been racked with problems, flood damage, broken door locks, not working elevators. City officials found the fire alarms and smoke detectors weren't working in the building. But the last straw on June 12th, when a basement flood damaged electrical gear, causing a fire. But families learned only last week that they would be evicted. The thing is that they knew what was going on the whole time. They never informed us about anything. We just got blindsided. The owner says he tried to repair the damage, but that didn't cut it. So the building was called unsafe. The families forced to leave. Saying I've never been late on my rent. I didn't break the lease, they broke the lease. Now they're asking for city leaders to step up and do something because many can't afford the rent anywhere else. The mayor not returning our calls or theirs. So there is one saving grace this morning, or at least one they hope for. They're told that the landlord is going to show up between 12 and 1 today to give each family a check for $1,000 to help them find a new place to stay. In Aurora, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News.